April 27th, 1986, Captain Midnight. Anybody unfamiliar with this story? There's a John McDougal, aka Captain Midnight, who was working for a Central Florida uh, satellite teleport station, which um, I think they oversaw like the uplink of programs and stuff on pay-per-view channels. Uh, as a protest, he took over the HBO satellite, I believe it was 12.32 a.m., and they were broadcasting the movie The Falcon and the Snowman, and he also had a satellite and electronics shop, which is this abandoned place, used to be here, and he uh, patched in his own message protesting the cost of a subscription service to satellite users. <clears throat> See, in the 80s, satellites got all the channels that cable did at no cost. But you had to purchase the satellite yourself and pay for the upkeep and all that. And so they wanted to make it to where HBO and these different places where you would have to uh, pay, I think it was $12.95 a month, which was really expensive for 1986 and uh, which would make places like his really hard to keep in business and so he swung the uh, his satellite over to the the one the satellite that was broadcast in HBO and increased the power and overtook it and uh, like I said I had a little color bar test pattern on there and it just said um, oh something about HBO 12.95 a month Showtime users beware and it said I think it said greetings from Captain Midnight and uh, it took the FBI a little while to track him down and the reason it was such a big deal it wasn't so much for uh, for what he did it's what he could have done because they said that he could have also linked into the Navy I think like the Navy uh, communications satellite, which would have been a pretty big deal. Which he didn't do, but I think they just kind of made an example of him. I think he got by with uh, $5,000 probation and, or I mean $5,000 fine and like a year's probation. But anyway, this guy's a legend. Not a lot of people know about him, but this is the, uh, his old shop. You put in uh, McDougal Electronics and it still it still shows up, tells you right where it's at. But uh, Captain Midnight, very cool story. Look it up, Google it if you don't know anything about it. It tells a lot more in-depth information. And it's uh, just really cool to be able to be here and just see where his base was. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.